Welcome, history enthusiasts and curious minds. Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey through time, tracing the evolution of galoshes of footwear that has walked through centuries. Before we step into this intriguing story, remember to hit the like button, subscribe for more captivating historical explorations, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's stride through history together. Rewinding to the Middle Ages, the term galoshes finds its roots in Gallicae, the shoes of ancient Gaul. Picture leather and wood crafting together to form these early boots. When Rome conquered Gaul, they weren't just expanding an empire, they were adopting a fashion statement. Roman soldiers donned these Gaulish boots, marking a blend of utility and style. Imagine the striking sight of nobles in vibrant red leather boots a clear declaration of their aristocracy, paired with exquisitely carved wooden soles. In the annals of footwear, galoshes and boots often intertwine, yet they hold distinct identities. Envision a time when galoshes weren't just shoes, but a protective shield for the sophisticated footwear of the era. They evolved as waterproof overshoes, safeguarding against the elements. This protective nature was especially crucial for the fabric boots of ladies, adorned with leather galoshes and secured around the ankle with elegant laced closures, akin to the fasteners we see on modern galoshes. The ingenuity of early footwear is exemplified by the Inuits and Ainu. The Inuits, in their harsh Alaskan environment, turned to nature for inspiration. They observed polar bears and mirrored their dense, multi-layered fur to create boots. These were not just any boots, but seamless ones made from the paws and legs of bears, claws intact. Similarly, the Ainu people of northern Japan utilized deer leg skins for their boots. Both cultures showcased remarkable resourcefulness in their boot designs, adapting to their unforgiving climates. In medieval Europe and Asia, people creatively combated muddy and watery streets with pedestal shoes. These weren't ordinary shoes, they were architectural feats. The wooden soles elevated the wearer, while the fabric or leather uppers encased their feet in comfort. The real genius lay in the design tapered at both ends. These pedestal shoes allowed wearers to move by a rocking motion. It was a perfect blend of practicality and ingenuity, a medieval solution to a common problem. Fast forward to the 19th century and enter Charles Goodyear an inventor whose name is more often associated with tires than footwear. Yet, it was Goodyear's fascination with India rubber that revolutionized the world of galoshes. After years of experimentation, he patented the process of vulcanization in 1844. This process transformed rubber, making it moldable, durable, and perfect for various applications, including footwear. As we venture into the industrial era, Rubber footwear took on new forms and functions. Vulcanization merged with industrialization, giving rise to an array of rubber products. Rubber-soled shoes catered to the growing sports culture, laying the groundwork for the vast sneaker industry we know today. From simple galoshes to stylish wellingtons, hip boots, waders, and even body boots, the rubber boot family expanded to accommodate diverse styles and needs. Leon Leon Woodbean, a visionary outdoorsman, transformed the boot landscape in 1911 with his unique design of boot with waterproof leather uppers and durable rubber galoshes bottoms. This innovation not only lightened the weight of traditional boots, but also enhanced their durability for rugged conditions. Fast forward to today, and we see how brands like L, L, Bean and Land's End have turned galoshes into fashion statements. From practicality to style, the journey of galoshes is a testament to human innovation and adaptation. As we wrap up our historical walk, we see how galoshes have stepped out of mere practicality into the realm of fashion and style. What do you think about this transformation? Share your thoughts and any interesting facts you know about galoshes in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey through footwear history, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating stories. 
Thank you for walking through history with us today.